Today, we have some incredible news from Apple that's going to change the game for iPhone users. The new Apple era is finally official, and the biggest change in the iPhone 16 Pro series is already here. Let's dive into the revolutionary iOS 18. We've got new sets of customization features, a revamped control center, and so much more. But the standout feature, the birth of Apple intelligence, buckle up, because Apple has once again done the unexpected. So what exactly is Apple Intelligence? This is Apple's answer to Galaxy AI, bringing advanced features like enhanced messaging, better text and email composition, audio transcription, and powerful photo editing capabilities. But Apple takes it a step further by integrating their AI model deeply into the system. It's like AI is now a core part of the operating system itself. Basically, AI is everywhere, and it all starts with Siri. It all starts with Siri. With Apple Intelligence, Siri is now on steroids. Imagine Siri not only answering complex questions like a chat model, but also accessing the latest chat GP tools right there if you need them. Siri has deep access to all your apps, especially system-based ones. Imagine this, you're playing a dinner with a friend. You discuss it in the messaging app, but later forget the time or restaurant name. No problem. Just ask Siri and it'll give you that information. The entire operating system is now more connected than ever in a way we haven't seen before. And it's not just Siri getting smarter. Apple Intelligence enhances your notifications too. Based on your usage, it prioritizes notifications so the ones you care about most are always on top. The same goes for the Apple email application. The Apple email app benefits from this as well, making your digital life smoother and more efficient. And this is just the beginning. Apple has hinted at more AI features coming later this year, likely around the iPhone 16 Pro series release. Classic Apple, right? But here's the catch. These features will be exclusive to the iPhone 16 Pro series. So if you have a non-pro iPhone or an older pro model like the 13 Pro Max or 14 Pro Max, you won't get these Apple intelligence features. Apple has reserved the most exciting features for the iPhone 16 Pro series. Speaking of updates, let's talk cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max are getting not one, but two camera sensors, a 48 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and a new 48 megapixel main sensor. With Apple intelligence, expect these cameras to elevate your photography game. The AI integration means your photos will be smarter, sharper, and more stunning than ever. With Apple Intelligence, these new sensors are set to deliver stunning photos and videos. It's an exciting time for mobile photography enthusiasts. Now, let's talk about design. The iPhone 16 Pro series is set to break records with the thinnest smartphone bezels ever seen. We're talking just 1.2 millimeters, about a 30% reduction compared to the already slim bezels of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It's going to look like you're holding a piece of glass. Absolutely stunning. However, the size of the dynamic island will remain unchanged. As for the back design, Apple is sticking with its traditional look. So no major changes on the outside, but with Apple intelligence, there's plenty of new features on the inside to get excited about. Apple has once again pushed the boundaries of what a smartphone can do, making the iPhone 16 Pro series a must have for tech enthusiasts. That's all for today's update. What do you think of the new Apple intelligence and iOS 18? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any future updates. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. In just a few months time, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will succeed the iPhone 15 Pro Max and take on the mantle as the best and most advanced iPhone out there. Although there's plenty of time until September and a lot can change, we seem to know a lot about the upcoming top iPhone model based on rumors and leaks. How is the iPhone 16 Pro Max shaping up against its predecessor? What's changing and what's staying the same? Let's see how the iPhone 16 Pro Max shapes up against the current best iPhone Apple has in its roster. First up, let's talk about design and size. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will inherit the same design language as the iPhone 15 Pro Max, employing the same titanium frame with a completely flat screen. The major difference between the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the iPhone 15 Pro Max will be size. The upcoming iPhone screen will grow to 6.9 inches across a significant bump over the iPhone 15 Pro Max's 6.7 inch display. To achieve this, they're likely shrinking the bezels down even further and making the thumb itself slightly larger overall. As per the rumors, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will measure 163 millimeter in height and 77.58 millimeter in width versus 159.9 millimeter and 76.7 millimeter for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, respectively. A small but notable change, all things considered. 
The iPhone 15 Pro Max debuted with an action button instead of a mute switch and a USB Type-C port at the bottom, so those two features will be carrying over to the newer model as well. However, the iPhone 16 series will be scoring another button, dubbed the Capture Button. Colors-wise, the iPhone 15 Pro Max was available in four understated and titanium-inspired colors. We've heard that Apple might use another titanium processing technique that will make the iPhone 16 Pro Max glossier and also more capable of retained colors. Moving on to display differences. As mentioned, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come along with a significantly larger display, measuring at 6.9 inches across. Aside from the size, we don't clearly expect any other major changes. We're certainly getting a liquid Retina XDR display with an OLED panel delivering superb colors, contrast, and exceptional maximum brightness. The screen will support 120Hz ProMotion refresh rate, making scrolling through the interface and on-screen content way smoother. Now let's delve into performance and software. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will feature a second-generation 3 nanometer chip, possibly dubbed Apple A18 Pro. As one can imagine, we expect that the Apple A18 Pro will have better performance than the Apple A17 Pro. Due to the heavily rumored focus on AI for both iOS and the iPhone 16 range, we expect that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come with a much improved neural engine to take care of all the generative AI features. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will also be the first to debut iOS 18 with a focus on artificial intelligence features. The new iPhone 16 Pro Max will also support faster Wi-Fi 7 and a more power-efficient 5G modem, keeping you future-proofed on the connectivity front. Let's talk about the camera. As the iPhone 15 Pro Max deliver a host of important camera features, chief among which is the new 120mm telephoto lens, the iPhone 16 Pro Max can finally address one of the forgotten cameras that hasn't recently scored any significant overhauls, the ultra-wide. Analyst Ming-Chi Ko believes that Apple will be introducing a 48 megapixel ultra-wide camera on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. When it comes to audio quality, iPhone Pro Max devices are always up there with the best, setting the benchmarks for all other manufacturers to measure up against. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will be no exception. The same generally applies to haptics too. iPhones are arguably the best devices when it comes to haptic feedback, giving us precise and accurate vibrations that are sufficiently strong yet not overpowering. Lastly, battery life and charging. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will reportedly feature a much larger 4,676 mAh battery compared to the 4,422 mAh battery in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Charging-wise, we haven't heard anything about a potential charging speed increase, but we hope to see one on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So far, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is shaping up to be a logical improvement to the iPhone 15 Pro Max delivering key upgrades in important areas like screen size, performance, AI, and battery life. Thus far, we haven't heard anything particular about a potential price increase, so it's safe to assume that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will start at $1,199 for the 256 gigabytes version. Of course, if there's an iPhone 15 Pro Max in your pocket, then you'll probably have few reasons to upgrade to the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Stay tuned for more updates on the iPhone 16 Pro Max as we get closer to its release date. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.